what I want Hey! What are you putting on my car? My name's Franklin, but my, my friends call me Ed. I'm just handing out these flyers about your city card. You're just gonna walk into City Hall and you get your card there, and it's gonna be zero taxes on anything. Well, then how does the city make any money? Doesn't the city have enough? What's your name, by the way? My name's Casper. Are you just passing by? No, I just moved into an apartment at Barkdale Tower. Oh, I hear the towers are lovely. Yeah, it's nice to get away from it all, I guess. Everybody has to run for their life at some point. Well, anyways, it's a small town, so I'll be seeing you around, Cass. Okay. It's an absolute honor and a pleasure to be standing here to commemorate this hotel's 40th anniversary. My father built this hotel with his own money and his own sweat. In a rhetorical way, before Barkdahl, there was Barkdahl Hotel. You could stay a night, you could stay a week, or you could be welcomed in as a resident. Because here at Barkdahl Springs, if you can't see it, it doesn't exist. That was quite the speech you gave there. Uh, thank you, thank you. I, I give one every week. What? Why? You must be Mr. Aurora, I think. Yeah, I was just reading, I, I was just reading your file this morning. What, you keep files on me? Listen, listen. I'm, you look, you looked a little rough in your picture. I'm glad to see that you got yourself cleaned up. I'm glad to see that. You know, it's great meeting you. It's great Rosewell. meeting you too. Roswell, yeah, thank you. And thank you for thanking me for the speech, by the way. Mm -hmm. Ed, you uh, you all right? 
What inspired you to move here? To get a break from it all. Your friends? Your family? Your yeah, job? pretty much from, from everything. You came to Barkdale Springs of all places? Yeah, I guess. Why not? I guess too. I like coming here to look at the people, look at the sunsets, look at the sunrises, look at the trees sway. It's perfect here. I feel connection with nature, unlike anything else. How long have you been here? Do you have time for dinner? I don't. I have always done everything spoken of me and I have dedicated everything. She has done nothing but fight on your side this entire time. This city needs me. Okay, let's, let's not. And you can't just fight. stand here and look at me and not realize that all of this is still here because of me. Let's, let's, let's just slow it down here. You think you have everything under control, but you don't work down here. You watch us, judge us, probe us, and think you know what's right. didn't you? I know what you did. I know what you did. You fucking killed him. I know what you did. I know what you did. I know what you fucking did. You killed her. You fucking killed her. I knew it was you. This was an outlier. Go get Oliver cleaned up. So, what do you recommend? Portland Food Company has been a household staple since 1897. I signature foods for a modest light price. Jar seasonal jams and jellies, just for 99 cents. Or witness our brand new signature ketchup blend. Portland Company. See your food and love it.
My name is Rachel, but everyone calls me Molly. Can you tell me what this means? That's the city motto. Is that supposed to be a good thing or a bad thing? How about we start with your name instead? Chicago. Not where you're from, dummy. I want your name. Chicago is my name. Oh, oh, I'd like to think the motto refers to taxes. Taxes are waived here for locals. Why do you think I moved here? Everyone has to run from their life someday. Why are you bothering me? Well, it's a very small town. See you around, Boston. Welcome up someone truly special, someone who has been fighting on our side and as always been such an amazing help, Mayor Angeles, please. Truthfully, it's been an honor. Thank you, Oliver. When people see my name, they think of Los Angeles. Me, I also think of Los Angeles. In February 24, 1942, the United States government peppered the sky with all its military might. They blamed it on a weather balloon. There's nothing to fear. Remember, Bartho, if you can't see it, it doesn't exist. So I'm, uh, I'm the hotel manager. You made that very apparent in your speech. Yeah, but anyways, this is my hotel concierge, Mr. Nimitz. Thanks for saying hello. How long do you plan on staying with us? I'm just passing through. That means you'll be just in time for the bomb. I'm sorry? The ball the hotel is throwing. I mean, I'm sure you've seen the posters all around town. Trust me, it's something you don't want to miss. Um, that's basically when it's all going to get revealed. If you see it at least. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me, but I'm going to be going now. he knew I didn't have anything to wear. It's easier to be confused about something you know nothing about. In 1893, the Supreme Court declared in the Nix versus Hedden case that 
that a tomato is a vegetable. But had they listened to science, they would have actually known it was a fruit. I like it! Also, I have something to give to you. Thank you. I figured since you were only staying for so little, you should have something to take with you. I've actually had some of it, and I, I'll admit there is something different about it. That's what he was going for. Don't be shocked. Just saw the bottle, so I'll pop in with a little trivia. See, Dylan Barkdale intended for that bottle to be the same when he founded the Portland Food Company in 1897. Wait, wait. So, the same guy that founded the town and the hotel also founded the company that makes the kettle? I'm Norton. Have a good day, ladies. He used to be a Barkdale. It's a nickname I've acquired. How'd you get that? He sailed in the seven seas and witnessed the earth made wonders. It is only in the stars where you can witness true glory. Nimitz is a mouthful. I do like eating it though. I don't mind it. Oh! Some lousy dress shirt and some slacks. You know, you're supposed to, you're the mayor. People are supposed to believe that you're the mayor. You think they're gonna believe you wearing this? It smells like tennis balls. Hello, ladies. Hello, Mr. Hotel Manager. This is my friend, Boston. Yeah, trust me, I've already met Mrs. I've already met Chicago. I see that you didn't uh, wear the blazer that I gifted you. Hey, um, I thought you said that you were going to be uh, gone by Monday. Monday's tomorrow, if I remember correctly. Well, ladies, you know, I, I'm glad to see that you, I'm really glad to see that you showed up. Go ahead, um, get a drink or so. Um, in about 30 minutes, Chef Fu's going to be bringing out his uh, infamous 100-year meatloaf. It's pretty uh, spectacular. In the meantime, you know, it was nice seeing you guys. Uh, have fun, okay? Yeah, thank you so much. time, how long have I been letting you guys stick shit up my ass? You sit here and you watch us and you, you prey on us. You, you, come, you come to a town to play God. And here we are. You're fallen gods. You have no more power. You have no more respect. None of this mere mortal standing among you that you prey on, that you brainwash with your ideology of, uh, perfect world in a perfect society. Fuck y'all. Fuck you two especially. South, North, fuck y'all. Y'all? How do I put this in human terms? Achilles was defeated. You have no place here. Did she see it? Yes, she did. You. Come here.
clean up the minutes. After that, dispose of all of them. with this city. I know you didn't do it. What? There's a man who's supposed to be here and he's supposed to say you murdered someone. Molly, are it's you- supposed to trigger something. You're supposed to kill him. I need you to get away from me. It's how they wrote it. I'm sorry. Get away from me. Big fucking mess.